think insects are fascinating. I think everybody should learn to love insects. My friends probably get slightly worried about me that I'm interested in all things that decompose. So I'm fascinated by dung beetles that bury dung and sexton beetles that bury carcasses. Today I've brought some African beetles to the museum for identification. So this is one of the actual dung rolling scarabs. And I mean they're just stunning. And a friend of mine was actually riding a motorbike with a head torch on at night one night. And one of these came and actually knocked him off the motorbike and he got knocked out by one of, <laughs> one of these creatures here. If I find a, a, dead, a dead small mammal or a pile of dung, I can't resist going for a little poke around and seeing what's in there. Today we're coming to check on the pitfall traps that we put down, hopefully to see if we've got any sexton beetles in them. They're baited with all different sorts of carrion. We've got beef, chicken, prawns, um, badger, anything. Roadkill's a great one because it's recycling. This badger really, really smells badly, but brilliant sexton beetle baits. Oh, this is fabulous. So, here is a sexton beetle. The sexton beetles have got the most fabulous antennae. And with these large antennae, they can actually sense chemicals and smells from many miles away. So what they do is they'll, they'll climb to a high point, maybe a, a high blade of grass, and they'll wiggle these antennae around, trying to pick up on the smell of any carrion. And when they've found something, they'll take off and then they'll fly towards the carrion crash land into it and bingo they're there right at the meal and the place that they want to rear their offspring. The sexton beetle is actually quite unique in the insect world. The male and the female get together and they actually look after the young so this form of parental care is it's almost unheard of. If there weren't things like sexton beetles around, uh, all the carcasses that, you know, of the animals that die naturally would be scattered around the environment. So they're really, really vital at getting those carcasses buried and out of harm's way. So this guy here is a goliath beetle larvae. I just think they're wonderful. They're just great to get kids screaming as well. A proper big maggoty-like grub. There's one species of midge that pollinates the cacao plant, which gives us chocolate. So if we wiped out this midge, which most people think, oh, a pestilent midge, we want to get rid of it, we wouldn't have chocolate. I don't think any friends have actually not come and had a look and then said, actually, this is quite fascinating. And I didn't know that we had dung beetles in the UK or we didn't understand that insects were so important. So I think, like anything, when you get your hands dirty and you get in there and you have a look, it suddenly becomes interesting.